Alright, so start up the orange box on your Xbox 360 console. And once you're in the game, open up each game individually. Once they've loaded up, you're going to want to open the options menu at least once. That way it saves the configuration file to your Xbox 360 storage. And make sure you set any controller options or game options to your liking because you cannot change them once we get the fix in place on the Series X. So make sure to do this with every single game, making sure to have all the settings that you want in place. Then we quit out of the orange box and go back to the Xbox 360 dashboard. At this point you're going to want to put in your FAT32 formatted USB memory stick into the Xbox 360. Alright, so once we're back on the Xbox 360 dashboard, we're going to want to go over to the Settings tab, and then System, followed by Storage, and then pick your Xbox 360 hard drive, Games and Apps, and scroll down to where the orange box is, and we're going to want to open up the User Settings, and you're going to want to copy this over to the USB storage device we just plugged in. So once that completes, you're going to want to move your USB storage device back over to your PC and open the software called Horizon, which I have linked in the description below. Your flash drive should appear automatically. Open up the Games folder, Orange Box, and then the User Settings file. You'll see a tab called Contents. Click that, and you'll see all of your configuration files for each game. You're going to want to highlight HL2 config, episode 2 config, episodic config, portal config, and TF config, and extract these to a folder of your choice. Now you're going to want to open each of these config files in Notepad and paste this line of text which I will also put in the description below. Make sure you hit File and then Save. After this, we go back to Horizon, our flash drive, games, orange box, user settings, and then go back to the Contents tab. Right click on each configuration file individually and pick Replace. And then replace it with the matching text file that we just altered. It should say file replaced successfully. Make sure to repeat this for every single configuration file. After you've completed this process with all of the configuration files, make sure you click the save, rehash, and resign button, otherwise these configuration files will not work on the Xbox 360 console for the next step. Now put your USB storage device back in the Xbox 360 console. Go to System Settings, Storage, down to your USB storage device, and find your orange box save once again. You're going to want to copy the user settings, but this time we're going to be copying it to our cloud storage on Xbox Live. You may get this message, just hit yes if there's already a save. Now, once this process completes, we're going to want to put the orange box in our Xbox Series X console. Open up Orange Box if it's installed, and it should download this cloud save automatically with our new configuration file. There's the sync, and it might ask you this message. Make sure to pick Last Played on another Xbox to initiate the download that we just uploaded. After this, you can load up any game you want, you can start a new game, you can load an existing save, and just like that, we have glorious 60 FPS, just like the PC version, finally on the Series X. Now in my opinion, Microsoft or Valve should add this natively to the app, but we shall see if they do that. Now one thing you should keep in mind with this fix. If you go into the Options menu or the Controller menu, 
and decide to change anything, it will revert the fix back to 30 FPS. So make sure you have your settings the way you want them before you do this process or you will have to repeat it once again. So I hope this guide helped you set up the orange box on your Xbox Series X to run in glorious 60 FPS. And go give Reverie Pass on YouTube a thanks for discovering this fix. I've left a link to their video in the description below, so go check it out. Anyways, get out there and go kill some Combine in glorious 60 FPS.